Hey guys, Taylor Rick again, and we're going to be talking today about drones and drone speed. Uh, I think everybody lost their minds with this last uh, balance patch, the surprise balance patch out of the blue. Uh, but you know what? It was a good thing. Um, I know there's been a lot of videos about it, uh, the, the overall patch itself and the back and forth and everything else. But as par for the course, Nettie's actually did the right thing. Everybody was asking for these kinds of patches, something, right, to, to, to bring balance to the game. Um, balance is a nasty word at this point because nobody knows what the hell that means because the minute we get it, everybody complains that it's not the right thing. And so, of course, in typical Nettie's fashion, they get concerned. They're so concerned about losing players that even when they do the right thing and people get upset about it for no fucking reason, um, they, go back on, they go back and change it again. So they made the nerves not so bad. Uh, and everybody's still complaining about drone speeds are being too slow and people are skilling out of drones and they gave everybody 3 million uh, Lazarus units to be able to reskill out of drones. And man, you guys are just, it's crazy. I don't understand. I just, I don't understand uh, why everybody's losing their minds. So here I'm going to just, in all practicality, I am not a prophecy pilot by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I mean, I know a lot about the prophecies. I've flown them before. I've skilled out of battle cruisers on my main, but whatever. Uh, I'm just not a prophecy guy. I've never really cared. I mean, I, the Prophecy 2 Command, though, is a great ship, which is what I got right here. Um, the Flying Turkey, as we call it. So, and of course, I've got the uh, permanent uh, Snowfield skin on it, which is gorgeous. And they'd better release these again, like they released the uh, the Grimace skins, finally. Although they didn't release a Grimace skin for a Prophecy 2 Command. So, at least I don't think they... Nah, I'm pretty sure they didn't. Uh, so, they screwed that up. But anyway... Here we are, and we're going to look at this again, and we're going to talk about, you know, I'm going to show you guys smalls going, I don't know how, how fast they're going to go. I was told they can go 30,000 uh, 30, meters per second. That's 30 kilometers per second. Um, and I was told that by somebody who knows what he's doing because he has flown prophecies since he could get into a prophecy in the game, and he's now a very dangerous Prophecy 2 command pilot. Um, I would trust him as a wingman in a P2C any, any given day. So here we go. We get into the P2C. Uh, I haven't done much with it. As you can see, there's no rigs. There's no nothing. I mean, all I've got is two uh, Mark 9 drone navigation computers. That's it. Just two. Nothing crazy, right? I'm going to take both of them off. I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to take that one off. And all we've got right now is an empty ship with a skin on it. No nano core. As you can see right here, no nano, no nothing. And we're going to look at what the mediums do. Right. And so right now the mediums are sitting at about 5,000 meters per second. And the smalls are sitting at about 6,750 meters per second. Now, granted, it's full skills, right? It's 555 five, five skills across the board. But if you're going to be a drone pilot, you're going to have 555 five skills for your drones or 554, five, something very close to this. So, you know, maybe we're 100 meters per second faster than your typical pilot in the game. I don't know. Um, that's pretty good. Now, granted, um, people are saying, yeah, but mediums now can't catch the, the frigates. Uh, well, they're already at 5,000. So, sure, you're going to have a lot of frigates that are going to be able to go that, that speed or maybe a little under that speed and then have a hard time keeping up with them because of the orbit, right? But, again, I've done nothing to this, this thing. So now we're just going to go and put one Mark 9 drone navigation computer on. And because we're concerned about speed, we're going to – well, actually, we're going to leave the one. Now we're going to go back and look at the small. The small's now at almost 7,200 meters per second. I'd say that's fucking fast enough, guys. And now the Mark 9 is at 5,391. Eh, maybe maybe you want your mediums a little faster than that. So we'll put we'll put a second one on so that when we're using our mediums, we can use those too, right, to catch something, something small. 5,719, and we haven't even activated these things yet, right? We're still just sitting here docked, okay? So, so let's undock. And let's figure out how fast these things go when we activate one versus activating two. Okay. So we're just going to, ah, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Just gorgeous. So we're just going to launch all these drones. So they're buzzing around doing their thing now. And we're going to activate one tracking computer and then see what its speed goes to. So your medium's now at 10,000. And your small is now at 14,000 with one computer. I'd say that's fast enough. Now, granted, it doesn't last very long. 
that's what you got a second one for if you needed to really catch somebody. I didn't see what the uh, orbit speed was at. I bet you the orbit speed's still the same. Doesn't matter. You're catching something. And we're going to get into, you know, what that looks like here in a minute as well. Because guess what? We haven't even put an implant on this thing yet. So we'll wait for the countdown to come in. Because, yeah, if you can see, I've got the Warhead one on, which isn't the right one to have on for this anyway. We want Bombard. So we're going to put a Bombard implant on this and have nothing activated and show you how crazy these numbers start to get. I, th I think the, the drones need to be nerfed back to what that initial balance was. I think, they were, I think the devs were right. I think the devs were right. So someone's going to convince me I'm wrong or try to convince me I'm wrong, but whatever. Okay, so here's two of them activated. Now we're at 15,000. Yeah, your orbit speed stays the same. Now we're at 15,000 on a medium, and we're at 20,747 meters per second on a small. That's crazy, guys. That's, that's, that's crazy, and we don't have an implant. So, so far, I haven't done anything that a typical prophecy pilot in the game would do. I mean, it's just a skin. There's nothing there. It's just two Mark IX navigation computers and it's just regular old mark 9 drones i haven't put the new drones on i haven't done any of that shit now, granted it's 555 skills but i mean come on <laughs> the majority of your your drone boat pilots who are in prophecies that's what they're going to have and this ship has a five percent bonus per level on its on its speed right so that's why we're where we are now let's get crazy now let's really go nuts and let's go into Bombard and say set active. And let's go and look at Bombard, right? It's a level 45. It's maxed out. Now, I know people are going to tell me, holy shit, Taylor. It's like a $99 billion worth of stuff to upgrade this thing to level 45. That's insane. Nobody has that. Well, you're right. The point of a balance patch isn't because everybody and their brother is doing something they don't like. The point of the balance patch is because they looked at all of these things in the aggregate and said, this is where it's going. That's too damn fast. So are you telling me that nobody in the game has a level 45 uh, bombard or a level 45 implant of any kind already leveled up? Sure they do. Is it going to take everybody else a really long time to get there if they specifically tried to upgrade one specifically? Yeah, it's going to take a long time. But everybody thought carriers and dreads were impossible to get to, and that didn't take very long for there to be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them in the game. There's got to be well over a... Well, I know for a fact there's over a thousand capitals in the game. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. So you can debate that with me all you want, but there's well over a thousand uh, capitals in the game. There's probably a thousand carriers alone. So... I mean, you want to get upset about how long it's going to take to get there um, and nobody has this. Uh, wake up. People have this, right? And so these balance patches are done specifically because of not necessarily what's happening right now, but also what could be happening down the road. Everybody likes to get on the devs as if they don't know how to play this game or they don't understand the game. And in a lot of cases, you're probably right. They don't understand how to play the game, but they do understand some of the mechanics and I think this was one of these one times where they finally actually made a change where they were a little forward thinking. All right, so let's look at the bombard tactics. Uh, the first one, we just get uh, some passive, uh, it's an active skill. We got to tap that one. That's right. It's a real quick bombard, right? So you get this active 300% uh, uh, bomb damage up to, and I'm, I'm maxed out. So it's 300% on this thing. Um, but it's an active skill. So you got to push the button to get it. We don't care about damage right now. We're not talking about damage. Uh, instead, what we're talking about is the speed of the fighters. And you just get to level 15, and you now get a passive 40% increase to, to your percentage. So again, uh, we're not talking about having to get all the way to level 45 just to get an extra 40% drone flight velocity boost. And it's passive. It's always there. That's a level 15. So let's just go back, now that we've made this active, and go and look at what our, we're not even in space. We don't even have a Mark 9 navigation computer done yet. We probably don't even need the damn thing because, look, now we're at 10,675 meters per second, all right, without the navigations. And on the, on the mediums, we're at 8,000 meters per second. Tell me, please, how that 
isn't catching a frigate. Let's go back in and let's look again because guess what? There's more. Uh, we're going to go back into the development. This one right here is just guided bomb, passive, 150% damage boost, nothing crazy there. And this one, of course, means that we don't have to do the... Uh, actually, I think this was this one where we don't have to recall. Yeah, no need to recall anymore. And then on this one, we get an extra 20% we get another 200% in speed for 20 seconds. That's what that's what that's I'm sorry, I was reading two things backwards. So we get an extra 200% for 20 seconds. So that is an active skill that's not even on there yet. Right? That's what you so you don't have to go to level 45 to get those numbers I just showed you. We're going to add another 200% for 20 seconds here in just a moment. Right? And and, and actually I'm not even going to do that because guess what? There's more, and there's more that we can do right here, right here by going in and finding, I've got like a, yeah. So let's find our level eight drone navigation. And yes, I'm on Fulmination server right now. Obviously, I don't have all this shit in my inventory. Um, if I did, I'd have it parked in Benzie Citadel, so I, you know, I couldn't lose it. At any rate, um, yeah, drone navigation. Here we go. We want output boost. We want this one. We want flight velocity increase of 26% just by fitting that. There it is. First row. Again, hell, we could get that by being at a level 10. It's crazy. So this is about as maxed out as you're going to get in the game um, for these speeds right now. And now we're at almost 11,000 on a small, again, with nothing active, all passive. And we're at uh, 82.45 on the medium. Let's say 10. Yeah, 10. So now we can undock almost at 11,000 without anything active. Now we'll undock and we're going to pop one of the drone navigation. And we're going to pop the uh, speed increase. And look at these things just buzzing around. It's it's just nuts. I mean, they're so damn fast, I'm not even sure what the hell they're going to hit. And I'm not here saying that these speeds are great and they'll make everything wonderful in terms of uh, what you're trying to hit if you're trying to hit a frigate. I'm telling you that these speeds are too fucking fast. <laughs> so, so no wonder they wanted a nerf, right? So let's hit uh, one and let's hit one and let's very quickly look at what the medium is. It's now at 36,268 meters per second and we'll look at the small and it's now at 48,357 meters per second. So the claim that someone had of these things getting up to 30,000 meters per second and someone saying, what the fuck, I'm smoking crack is totally wrong. It's faster. It's faster. So there you go. Uh, at some point, they're going to have to nerf drones again and make them slower because I don't know how the hell they hit anything at those speeds. I just don't. Okay, so uh, that's 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 it. Uh, nice and short. Uh, the breakdown was nice and short. Maybe it was a short this week. I don't know. I keep going back and forth, but that's it. Make sure to tune in this Thursday night with Rambo, Crimson King, and myself as we go over even more. Make sure you like and subscribe to these YouTube videos, by the way. We are trying to get up to 3,000 subscri subscribers so that we can get Rambo, his uh, his senior content creator, tag, license, whatever you want. Uh, I, I don't care one way or the other. I don't think Crimson cares one way or the other. I'm just happy that Crimson's now a content creator, as he should have been for months ago. Um, but Rambo would really like to have that, and I'd like to see him get it too. We are not going to monetize this channel. Don't worry about that. Um, so we are just looking to get up to 3,000 subs. And if you want to see more videos like this, um, we're going to make them regardless, but just help us out. Like and subscribe, and then come over to our Discord channel. We're there every Thursday night live for a show, game shows, news updates, the whole nine yards. Um, and we're a little bit more regular than Damon Zell. Love you, Damon. <laughs> okay. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks.